Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Mount Vernon. I take four fingers right in the center and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the right, I'm going to draw a straight line out, come back to the dot, towards the left, straight line out. Right in the center, I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, come back to the top, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Right about here, I'm going to put in the center a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out, little straight line in, come back to the dot, straight diagonal out, little straight line in, connect. Right on top, I put one baby circle, one straight line, one straight line crossing it, and one baby circle. Inside my space right here, I draw one, two, three, four straight lines on the left, one, two, three, four straight lines on the right. I come over here on the right hand side and I draw one, two, three straight lines on the right and right above it I'm going to draw a skinny rectangle. Straight line out, little straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, straight line in connect. Now from this point on pretty much everything is symmetrical so whatever I draw on the right I'm going to draw on the left. So I go on the left and I draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect, little skinny rectangle on top, straight line out, straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, straight line in, connect. Okay, starting right here on the right hand side, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down and leave it floating. Come on the left hand side, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down and leave it floating. Come right about midpoint right here on the right and I draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. And right underneath I draw a little straight diagonal line. If I do it on the right, I'm going to do it on the left. So I come on the left, straight line out, little straight line down, straight line in, connect, little straight diagonal, connect on the left. Okay? Now inside, in the center, we're going to draw a straight line out, straight line over, Come back to the top, straight line down, diagonal, <clears throat> and connect. Inside, we're going to draw an oval. So I draw an oval, and right in the middle, I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw straight lines to the edge, all the way down and around. Okay? I come on the left hand side, and I'm going to draw straight line down straight line over, straight line down, straight line, connect on the left, come on the right hand side, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, straight line, connect. Come back to the left, put a dot, and we're just going to draw a straight diagonal out, little straight line in, connect, straight diagonal out, little straight line in, connect. If I do it on the left, I need to do it on the right. Put a dot on the right, straight diagonal out, little straight line in, straight diagonal out, little straight line in. Now, yes, this is very intense, so if you need to pause to catch up, go ahead. I won't feel bad about it at all. But if you're still going, let's start on the left-hand side. We're going to draw a straight line all the way across and connect. And now we're going to come a little straight line out on the left, little straight line out on the right, 
little straight line down on the left, little straight line on the right. Now connect the two for a very long, skinny, skinny, skinny rectangle. Okay. Now, before I leave this center triangle, I'm going to put a little dot on top, and I'm going to mimic those lines. Straight line, straight line, straight line up, connect. Now, if it starts getting squished, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Now, I come back to the left, and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line, but then a straight line down and leave it floating. Come on the right. Slightly curved line in, straight line down on the right, and leave it floating. Now we're going to do a bunch of overlaps, but we're going to start first with this on the left. We do a straight line, curve line on top, straight line down, jump, straight line, curve, straight line, jump, curve, straight line, all the way across, straight line down, curve, straight line, straight line down, curve, straight line, keep going, I know, it's a lot, straight line, curve line, straight line down, straight line, curve line, straight line down, straight line, curve line, straight line down, keep going, keep going, Straight line down, keep going, keep going. Straight line down, one more please, and straight line down. Now, the good thing is all of these floating lines, once we do our connector, which we're gonna do right now, all you have to do is start on the left, draw a straight line across, and stop. Now we have all these floaters, bring them down, connect, 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 connect. Some of them need more, some of them need less. You're just working your way across the bottom. Connect, 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 connect. Okay, now in between each one of these, we're going to put a curved line, jump over, curve line, jump over, all the way across. Curve line, just one, jump over jump over, jump over. Now you have to draw this part first because now we're going to draw a bunch of stuff behind it. Oh, and here's my other line. Connect. Okay? Alright. On the left, about three posts in, we're just going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line. You don't even have to draw the bottom because it's being held. Three steps over here, we're going to draw another one, straight line, straight line, straight line down. In the center, lining up right here, let's put a dot and we're going to draw a triangle. Straight diagonal out, straight line over, straight diagonal up. We're going to draw one, jump over, two, jump over, straight lines down, come on the right, one, don't have to draw that one, but two, jump over and draw that straight line. Come up to the top, draw a straight line across. Come inside the triangle, draw another triangle inside. Now, come all the way and draw me one, two, three straight lines down. Okay, now we're going to do all of these boxes. So starting on the left, I draw one straight line, 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 straight line. Jump over. This one's going to be one box, two boxes, bigger box, straight line, straight line, bigger box, straight line, straight line. Bigger box, straight line, straight line on the bottom. And one more if you can fit it, straight line, straight line, straight line. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw one big box. Jump over and one big box. All right. Now we're going to add a bunch of lines. Starting at the top, these are all windows. So you draw a straight line, but you draw like three little straight lines across because they didn't have plate glass windows they had a bunch of little windows they put together 
So you would draw a straight line down and then one, two, three, four if you can find it, if you can fit. The same thing with all of these. These are all windows. Straight line down, all the way across, straight line down, all the way across, keep going, I know it's a lot, straight line, 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 straight line. If you can fit more in, that's better. These also are windows, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Now, it's very easy to miss windows. Let's make sure we've got all of ours. I think we do. Because last thing now are shutters. That's little straight line on each one of these. All the way across. Now, this was the style that they would use back in the 1700s. Lots of windows because... They wanted the um, light to come in during the day and shutters to close when the weather got cold and windy to keep everything closed up together. So straight line, straight line, collect, straight line, straight line, connect. I think, oops, I forgot my little little straight lines right here. This is the door. Okay? All right. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the tricky part about this was the drawing. The coloring is pretty easy. The top of this is the roof of the cupola, which is an architectural term, and they use that to get the hot air out of the house. These two little additions those are red. The cupola top right here is red. And all of this is a red roof. Now, the main part of the house is white. And there, if there's any accents, it's with black. So all of your little shutters that we drew, these should all be black. So these are black. This is black, 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 black. Everything else, leave it alone. Black, black. And this was, there's other parts of Mount Vernon. This is the main mansion part. This is what he, George Washington wanted you to see when you drove up in your carriages, this expanse. Now, these are doors. This should be brown. This is your main door. This should all be brown. And this is a door. This should be brown. Okay? Your chimneys. This is brown. This is all brown. And I think that's it. Then you want to do a green grass. They have a big port, big uh, driving circle that you drive up around and it's all green grass so that should be green and this little edge this should be gold but I don't have gold so I'm going to use yellow this little edge should be yellow oops I knew I forget something this needs to be circled again sorry and just for a pop of color I did little blue insects. This is glass. Okay? That should be blue. Then, for the background, starting on the right, going all the way to the left, I did my background with blue stripes. This kind of finishes it. Really looks nice. Red, white, and blue. It's a beautiful house. Mansion, I should say. Farm. It was a farm. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Mount Vernon all colored in. There's a very good site called, I think, mountvernon.org that gives you a tour, a virtual tour to go through the house and all of the um, outbuildings. It's great. Okay, bye-bye.